Cecilia Payne was born on May 10, 1900, in Wendover, England. Upon her high school graduation in 1919, Cecilia won a scholarship to Cambridge University to study science. Unsure of what field of science to choose, she attended a lecture by astronomer Arthur Eddington on his observation of Einstein's general theory of relativity. This lecture is what sparked her interest in astronomy. Though she completed her studies, Cecilia was not awarded a degree because Cambridge did not start granting degrees to women until 1948. Realizing she was very limited in England, Cecilia moved to the United States in 1923 where she was awarded a fellowship that encouraged women to study at the College Observatory at Harvard. There, she met Harlow Shapley, the director of the College Observatory, who encouraged her to write a doctoral dissertation, and in 1925, she became the first person to earn a Ph.D. in astronomy from Radcliffe College, now part of Harvard. Her thesis, Stellar Atmospheres, a contribution to the observational study of high temperature in the reversing layers of stars has been called the most brilliant Ph.D. thesis ever written in astronomy. At the time, scientists believed that the sun was made out of heavy elements, but the 25-year-old's thesis proved everyone wrong. Cecilia was able to accurately relate the spectral classes of stars to their actual temperatures by applying the ionization theory. She found that helium and hydrogen were vastly more abundant in the sun and the stars, particularly that hydrogen was the overwhelming constituent of the stars and accordingly was the most abundant element in the universe. While reviewing her Ph.D., astronomer Henry Norris Russell persuaded Cecilia not to present her findings as it contradicted the accepted wisdom at the time. Four years later, he derived the same results by different means, and published the work, citing Cecilia's name, but often getting all of the credit himself. After her doctorate, Cecilia studied stars of high luminosity in order to understand the structure of the Milky Way. Later, she surveyed all the stars brighter than the tenth magnitude. She then studied variable stars, making over 1,250,000 observations with her assistants. This work, was later extended to the Magellanetic Clouds, adding a further 2 million observations of variable stars. This data was used to determine the paths of stellar evolution. In 1956, Cecilia became the first woman to be promoted to full-time professor at Harvard's Faculty of Arts and Science. She was later appointed to chair of the Department of Astronomy, making her the first woman with a department at Harvard. Cecilia retired from teaching in 1966 but continued her research as a member of the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory. <laughs>